Two-two draw. Um, incredible finish to the game. What did you make of it overall? <laughs> yeah, the, the finish was a bit crazy. Um, disappointed. Um, I don't think we. That's probably the worst we've played out of the three games that I've been here. So. Um, we played well in patches and I think we kept the ball well in patches but we just I think we're just lacking a little bit of that confidence at the moment just to kind of finish that last pass or just get on the ball a little bit more you know from any mistake and just carry on doing those things but we'll get there it's, it's just you know getting our confidence levels back up and today's days like today sorry will um, you know will go a long way um, Kelsey Mooney man on the spot two goals in, in that final finish he had two touches and two goals today, so no, nah, it's brilliant. That's uh, you know we said in there at the end. It's not about the eleven on the pitch; it's about you know the squad, you know us, us, us as a unit. And you know he's come on, and he's got two goals. Row come on and you know put himself about a bit. I think they were worried about Rowan and, and, and Lenny a bit, and then Kals manages to squeeze in there and pop two goals. So it's been brilliant. How important was it to show the fighting qualities in that match today, as far as you're concerned? Um, that's what, what I'm about. Um, that's what obviously my team's about. You know, Barry and and obviously our backroom staff. So that's you know we never say die. Um, obviously, George got sent off. You know, you're down to ten men. Then they score the second. We don't really been opened up, to be honest. But you know, you think everything's a bat. You know, against the walls. But you know, we come come out there and we just keep going and going. We get the second, and then obviously we got back in the game. It was an altercation with kind of name line. But did did you see what actually was the reason behind? Was there a stamp there prior to the sort of? <laughs> a head collision or what? I don't think it was a stamp, but obviously there, there was a coming together on the floor. He's got up, and I don't know if he stepped on him or what. I don't think he stamped on him, but I can see why the refs gave him a red card. So I've got you know no complaints with that. And I must ask about Carl Finn. Is he okay? Because two players down, both injured within five minutes, clash of heads. Referee and doctors had to make that decision to, to get them off. I guess. Yeah, we was, we was worried, especially about their lad, because he he, he was out cold. Mm. So. um Finney, Finney's a bit of a pretty boy, so I don't think he's too happy at the moment. He's got um, he's got quite a few staples in his head, so yeah, it was a big gash. I think it's about pff, got to be something like that. So it's it's it's, it's quite big, but he's all right. Um, he's up walking around, so um, he's been to I think he's been to hospital just to check out. He's had some staples, but he's fine now. Um, he brought um, Lenny uh, <laughs> Lenny in up front the, the <laughs> shot. Let's put it that way, John Lewis. <laughs> I have to say it. Um, how did you feel he played today? Then he's not played for a while. I think he was excellent. I think he, he occupied the centre halves. I think he held the ball up well when he could. I think one of the things that we need more is if you see opposition, you know, with our centre halves is when they're not going to win the ball, making it difficult. So, you know, they were knocking balls down because of, you know, he was getting in and, and making things difficult for them and then we were picking up the second ball. So Lenny's an excellent player. I've known Lenny, I've played with Lenny. He's got a lot more to come. Maybe nearly scored where he should have scored in the first half. So, But no, there's a lot more to come from Lenny, but I was, I was really impressed with him today. Because he, he does hold the ball up well, but yeah. he can play as an out and out striker, can't he? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, we've got to look at what's best for the squad and, and the team. So, you know, we, we thought putting Lenny there and I think he would help guide some of the younger lads. And I, I think that's important. You know, his experience, his nous, his movements will be good for players like Rowan and Finney and Alex and, and, and those kind of players and obviously Kelsey. So, he, you know, brings a lot of experience to the team. And it looks as though you'll give everybody a chance. You brought Bradley Ash back and put him straight up front. Uh, is that something you feel the players will feel? Oh, it's a fresh start now. For me, you know, Brad's been away, Toe had been away, um, Finney had been way out of it. So they're like new signings, to be honest. That's, that, that's, they've not been anywhere near it. So for, for me, it gives everyone a lift. Kaney's come back in as well and he's, he's been excellent. He's rattled around, worked hard and they're like new signings. And, you know, they're the type of lads that galvanise the team because of their, their personalities, the way they are. Everyone loves them. You know, it was great to see Toe back. You know, the amount of smiles when Toe walked back through the door was, was amazing. And Brad's been away, he's been scoring goals. So, you know, we've not been scoring, so we brought him back. Is it a question now of trying to develop a system or we look at every team on its merits and you may sort of rotate things depending on the opposition? I mean, it's York City, for example, next week. Yep. Will that be different again? Yeah, well, I mean, we look at the opposition, we look at their strengths and weaknesses and then we decide. We have our identity and we have the way we want to play. So first and foremost, that will always stay the same. But there will be some tweaks within that, you know, for a different opposition and we'll work different in training, you know, from week to week. But, you know, our fundamentals, second balls, working hard, you know, that kind of thing, they will always be there. What's the situation with suspensions? Because obviously Ben Pollock's out at the moment. I guess Colin A. Lybard might miss three for yeah. violent conduct. Yeah. Yeah, it's a difficult one, especially the squad's been trimmed down a lot. So it's, it's difficult, you know, when you miss players. Um, I think Ben's an excellent player and I think Ben's got a bright future in football, to be honest. Um, so we're looking forward to getting him back. And obviously missing Jordan now for 
possibly three games. We've got to look at what we've got in the squad. Obviously, Riles has come back now, so he's back to fitness. And, you know, we've got obviously Popey that can play centre-half as well. So, you know, we've got to look at, you know, those. I was going to say the bench today looked quite strong. Kieran yeah. Thomas as well as Martin Riley, so welcome them back. Yeah, I mean, we were speaking about on the way, me and Barry were actually about the, the bench and how strong it is. And the only problem is when you get a suspension, we haven't got, you know, the other reserves to come in and and, and then get in, get in the squad as such. So that's difficult. But, you know, the bench is strong, as you've seen today. Rose come on, made an impact, and then obviously Kelsey's come and got two goals. So and obviously Alex come on for Finney early doors. So yeah, we've got a strong bench. Thanks for your time. No problem, thank you. Can we ask how Danny Green's made is? Yeah, Danny's um he's, he's having a scan next week just to kind of we've had, we think on, on his on his groin. So we've identified what we think it is, so we we're just gonna have a scan just to make sure and so we can have a look at what time frames we're working with. So we'll we'll hopefully have some more information on that next week. And Reese Stylish, was it just the way you set up today? There wasn't space for him in the squad, or yeah, um, we we looked at things um, in training um, this week, and you know we looked at what what we needed, and obviously bringing Lenny in, um, so we thought um, we'd give him a rest, I suppose, <laughs> for this week. But then we're looking at it again next week, and you know we might change that again next week. And are you almost full of the squad now? Or are you still looking to bring the odd player in? Um, you know, obviously, I, I spoke a lot about the environment and, and you know the positivity we're trying to bring. So we we've got to look at that, and we've. We don't want to bring anyone in that's going to disrupt the dressing room. So obviously we need to keep pushing forward and we need we need to keep growing. As long as the lads show a willingness to learn and willingness to improve, then obviously we won't be bringing too many in. Okay. No problem. Fantastic. Thank you very much.